you for watching some of these videos on Brooks Harvard referencing. I'd just like to share a few top tips to finish with that I think might help you with your referencing. So firstly, keep good records as you do your reading of any sources that you plan to use in your assignments or that you might use because it will make it a lot easier to do your referencing if you've made that note as you go along. Practice paraphrasing with different techniques. So you can have a look back at the video on paraphrasing, which explains the difference between summarizing, comparing and contrasting. Um, that will help you with your writing style, as well as with uh, avoiding plagiarism. If you're worried about plagiarism, I would say firstly, don't panic because it might sound a bit scary that there are all these serious consequences for plagiarism, but it's really just about showing integrity in your academic conduct. And a big part of that is making sure that you can cite your sources and give credit to um, the authors who've written the work that you're using. So there's a course called Academic Integrity on Moodle that you can go through to find out more about plagiarism and how you can avoid it. I would recommend that you learn the Brooks Harvard format for key sources that you'll use a lot, like books, journal articles and web pages. You cite them right to learn those formats and to check your references. Remember that Cite Them Right matches exactly the Brooks Harvard format that we use here. And so by using Cite Them Right to check your references, you can make sure that they're consistent and that they're using the correct format for Oxford Brooks. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Isabel Virgo. I'm one of the business librarians. If you have any worries about any of this um, or you need some advice on referencing, do get in touch with your um, academic liaison librarian who can help.